So it's finished 4 1. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. You would think 4 1 score line, completely dominant, completely comfortable, um, and a really easy day at the office. But it was very far from that. Um, I think that at times West Ham were dominating and they caused us a lot of problems. Um, first half was very sideways, very same old, same old. Um, and not really that carnival atmosphere that we all kind of expected it might be today. Um, second half, thought we started really, really well. Got the goal. Brilliant, brilliant goal by Nacho Monreal. And then um, you kind of sensed that we were just going to overrun West Ham, get a second, third. Um, and then they took a foothold and there was a little five, ten minute spell where they started getting back into the game, started dominating and they equalised. And you thought, oh, here we go again. But... Fair play to the boys. They picked it up. And once we got the second goal, um, massive mistake from the young lad, Rice, um, ducking under the ball. I don't know what he was doing there. Um, but listen, we'll take it. And yeah, the floodgates opened after that. Lacazette, a couple of goals. Um, the players today, defensively, it was very much the same old all over the place. Mustafi still looks a liability. Um, and what's worrying going into the game on Thursday against... Um, Atletico is like, that's our first choice back four. Um, and if we give away the kind of chances we did today to the likes of Griezmann um, and whatnot, then we're in serious trouble. But hopefully we can tighten that up somehow before that game. But I felt Granite Shaka played really, really well today. Great performance from him. Um, but I want to say special praise for Danny Welbeck. Wasn't on the score sheet, but I think his work rate... Um, and his commitment and everything he did was really, really good today. So, um, yeah, good performance from him. Um, you see what Aubameyang can do when he came on um, with the likes of Lacazette. So that's promising for next season. Um, and yeah, like I said, it was, you know, things are not going to change overnight. We all expected a carnival atmosphere. We all thought that, you know, we're going to come out here and play you know, invincible football from 04 and whatnot, but it isn't going to happen. And at the end of the day, we've just got to get through the next month or so. The priority is the Europa League. Let's try and win that and send Arsene Wenger off in a high. Um, and yeah, and that's the way it has to be. And anything that we get in the Premier League is a bit of a bonus. So we move on. And yeah, it's Thursday night now. That is the big one. It's the first leg. And, um, yeah, we should be seeing the likes of Meza Ozil coming back into the team. I think Jack Wilshere will come back into the side as well. Um, I'm hearing that Elneny's injury isn't as bad as first feared, which is really good news. Um, so, yeah, we move on. And um, it's nice to get three points. And um, it's nice to get another win. And, yeah, that's one more under the belt for Arsene Wenger. And he's only got one more Premier League home game left. So... Um, yeah, we move on to Thursday. Massive, massive game. Get in, Arsenal!